who do the Jets play? They play the Raiders. And what are they famous for in Las Vegas? They're famous for ribeye steak. And guess what we're making today? We're making ribeye steak. Every day cooking, Dad. Cooking every day. Welcome men, welcome back. Guys, we're doing ribeye steak today. We got baked potatoes, we got rosemary, we got chives for the potatoes, we got butter, which we're gonna baste in, a, in our steak in. We got some asparagus. I'm gonna get started on the potatoes. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back. We got the potatoes here, right? This is real easy, right? We had our potatoes, we're going in with some uh, olive oil. I should have gotten uh, three potatoes pretty much all the same size, but it'll be fine. And we're just going to give these a good rub down, right? All right, guys, so we got our potatoes. We covered them up with olive oil. No big deal. And then I'm just going to cover it with salt. Put salt all over the top of them. I like eating the potato skins. My whole potato will be gone when I'm done. I don't know. I just see them do this in the steakhouse, so I, why not, right? You put salt on theirs, I'm going to put salt on mine. All right, guys, and this is going in the oven. 425 degrees for about an hour. Don't forget to put holes in your potatoes. You don't want them to burst on you. I don't put that many. I just put like three, four pokes. And that's pretty much it. These are going in the oven, 425 degrees for one hour. All right, guys. While our potatoes are in the oven for an hour or so, I'm gonna go ahead and salt these up. It should help with the flavor. Um, probably should do this overnight, but I'm just going to do this real quick for about an hour. I find it is not much of a difference, but you know, it'll absorb into the steak. So we'll get it like a little sheen of water on top of the steak and that's as salt will absorb right inside. So that's pretty much it. We're going to put this in the refrigerator and that'll be it for another hour or so. All right, guys. So we got our, um, asparagus in the pan. I'm just gonna put some olive oil on these. And I'm just gonna hit it with some complete seasoning. You can season it up what you want. You can um, just use salt and pepper. I'm just using this complete season. It's got everything in it, right? And then we just go ahead and give this a mix. These are gonna go in the oven just when the steaks are starting to rest. So I'm gonna put this on the side. All right, so here's our potatoes. Let's give these a quick push. All right, so we're gonna put these right through, and if it pushes right through, push our fork right through, these are done. The potato skins are nice and crunchy. Can you hear that? These are done. I'm gonna put this under the warmer in the oven, and uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, so it's been about an hour and change. Let's take a quick look at our meat. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. You see that sheen? That's the salt. The salt is doing its job. So our meat should be well seasoned, but we're gonna go ahead and just uh, dry this off because we don't want to put a wet steak in our pan, right? We don't want to steam it. We want to sear the steak, right? We want a nice sear on the steak. Let's flip this over. Let's get this side. All right, so these are nice and dry, and we're just gonna wait, out, wait for our pan to come up to uh, temp. All right, guys. So we're gonna go down with a little bit of avocado oil, not too much. Just a little. And we're just gonna see how our pan starts to react here. All right, see we're starting to smoke a little, so we're right there. So we're gonna go down with these two steaks. I'm just going to hit this side with a little bit of salt, not too much, because we already salted it. All right, guys, this is our best friend um, when you're cooking steak. You know, you can try and be a pro and poke at the steak if you want to and see if it's done. I'm going by temperature. I like my steak medium. So medium is uh, 160 and well done is 170. So one of these is going to come off earlier than the other. Um, and I'll be back when um, the steak is uh, seared up on one side. All right, guys, so it's been about three minutes or so on that side, and I'm gonna go in with some butter. I'm 
And then we're gonna go in with our garlic. And our rosemary. Now, I did tie them off so I can, you know, find it when we're done. All right, so we're gonna give this steak a flip real quick. See what we got on the other side here. Nice, right? Make sure we get as much surface contact as we can. Because right here, we didn't get much surface contact, right? Now you gotta make sure you get the, the fat side here. We're gonna do that in a minute. We just wanna get our sear on this meat. All right guys, so we're gonna take a quick reference tip. We're gonna just go in just a little bit. We're at 76 degrees, that's nowhere near done, right? This one here, 96. We got like almost a whole 100 degrees to go. 90 degrees to go. All right, these are pretty thick, thick steaks. Let's go ahead and baste the top. All right, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give these a flip on the side. Look at that guy. Look at that sear. Mm. Get the fat on the side rendered out. All right, that looks good. Now I'm gonna go back on this side, the original side that we flipped. I'm just gonna move these around. And I'm gonna render this fat on this side. All right, time to temp it. See where we come in at. 142. And that one is 121. So guys, we're almost there. 138. By the time. We get a nice sear on the other side of this steak. The medium, the medium one we're gonna be able to pull. I'm just gonna go ahead, go in. Guys, 160, I'm pulling this one. This one's coming out. And this one's gonna rest. Might have just overdid it just a little bit right there. That quickly. I'm just gonna let this one rest. All right, guys, so, real quick. While my steak is resting, I just did put a tab of butter on top. All right, so let's just take a quick tip. 178, 199. That's done, probably overdone. So this comes off. This comes off. And I'm gonna put it on this plate. All right, so this gets its own tab of butter, right? And uh, we'll let this rest. Pop it open. Then we go down with our steak. And then some asparagus. All right, that's it. This is dinner. All right, what more does, what more do you need? Maybe some fried shrimp on the side would be nice, right? Guys, this is it. This is dinner. This is what we got. Now it's time to go ahead and cut into this and see how nice we cooked our steak. All right, so I'm gonna go right down the middle. 
see how well we did. Let's see if we overcooked it or not. Look at that, guys. For me, medium. That's just right. Slightly pink. To me, that's perfect, guys. It's time to eat. Every day, cooking bad, cooking every single day. Take a look at some of these other recipes and let's get cooking. Run, but you can't hide. Can't hide.